Hello there everybody, Samuels Locus here, welcome back to the railway. Today I will be viewing this, the Hornby Railways Battle of Britain class, but this one's called Spitfire. But it's, as, as you can see, this is in the southern Malachi green with yellow stripes. But not inside, it's totally different. Same locomotive, just slightly different colour. I'll show you in a minute when I do the unboxing. Talking about unboxing, let's find out what we have inside this wonderful box. Let's go. And if you want to know, the one I got is the BB BR34066 Marine number Spitfire. As you can see, definitely in the British Railways livery. Anyway, let's carry on with the unboxing. Now, I've been trying to get one of these locomotives for, I don't know, about eight months now. So finally, I've actually got one. Now, I wanted to actually, actually like to have one of the new ones, but this is exactly sort of the thing I wanted. I had a look at the front and I thought, some locomotive, perfect. I had a look inside, British Railway locomotive, I thought, you know what? <laughs> actually, thinking about it, I actually like the British Railway's version more than this version. Put down in the comments if you, if you like this version more or the one inside the box colour. Anyway, talk about <laughs> trying to get this open. Let's get this unboxed. Right, we'll go inside. It's this side. All right, so I've just got the picture of it. But that one's I can put on the wall or something. Very nice. Um, instructions, maintenance, all the same. Yeah, just just, just running. It. I'll have a look at that later though. Just to show you what it actually is. I'll just uh, hold. It. Ah. No. Yeah, that's. One side, and then there's the other side. I'll put that. It's a fiddly rank stick. Oh, all of us. That's one side. As the other one's just the same, so I don't look at And there it is. That's what I meant by the British, British Railway livery. As you can see, this is in the early crest livery. The livery, lovely. I'll tell you about something this, about this. This is, this is the livery we actually crashed in, 1957. Well, unfortunately, I'm not sure which port it was at, but it crashed into a diesel locomotive and it was scrapped after that. So, it was a shame. Anyway, let's get this out. I'll do the tender first. Ah, there it is. Very nice. As you can see, it's sort of the, the streamlined sides. So the normal version, which is just that, that's missing. That's totally different. That's the tender. And the locomotive should be coming out. There it is, put this to one side. And there's the locomotive. Looks very nice. Very, very nice. He's got the name Spitfire on the side. Yes, very nice. I put a hold up with the tender. Now this is, oh, should, is this the chuff chuff tender? No, it's not. No, that's trying, I think. Yeah, that's trying. Ooh, what am I talking about? Oh, it's coming down down. Just a little one. Oh, ah. Pretty fiddly. Anyway. Oh, you. Yes. So there's the entire locomotive. Right. I think it's time we have a look for detail on this locomotive. Yeah, and find out what surprises this locomotive have for detail was. Let's find out, shall we? So here we have the locomotive up against the white background. Now, already, I'm already really loving this locomotive. So, first, for detail. So obviously you've got the sort of streamlined smoke deflectors, I would say. Now I, I saw one of these in real life at the Ningbo Railway, but it was in the Malachi livery, like on the uh, in the box, oh, on the box, on the picture. Anyway, so let's start with the locomotive first. Now you can definitely see all the rivets on it, all along here. Number three four zero six six. Then you've got the picture of I think it's I saw the exact picture of the Ningbo Railway. I think it means. Uh, never surrender sort of thing. Battle forever. Yes, and it's quite nice to have it it's called Spitfire. You never know, you might see a Spitfire go over your house any minute now. So, really nice. Anyway, Tender. Got the British Railway's late, uh, early delivery. Sorry. And, apart from that, everything is okay. No sprung buffers, by the way. That's fine. But the best, best about sprung buffers is because sprung buffers are always annoying. So, a couple sometimes. On the King class, got sprung buffers, and uh, 
when you push them in, sometimes the buffers actually fall out because you push them in so hard. Anyway, apart from that, everything's really good. Now, I wouldn't say a lot about the detail because there's not a lot of detail on here. There's not a lot of colour parts. The only colour parts is the livery number, the crest, and the, actually the front. Look, where you've got the number of the front. Number, number, yeah. Anyway, I think it's about time we put onto the track and have its first test run. But actually, I've actually already tested it, so I think it's time we actually see how well this crawls. Let's find out on the track. Let's find out how well this locomotive actually performs on the track. Let's go. And so here we have the locomotive down onto the track, ready for the slow test. Right, we're going to start turning up the control and see how well this locomotive performs. Let's go. Oh, the noisy. Oh, we've got some movement. Speed it up. A bit coggy, but that's, that's normal for locomotives this age. Not how many years old this locomotive actually is. Yeah, very cocky. Oh, I'm it. Alright, let's give it a little bit more speed. A higher speed, it seems to be more smoother. Look at that. Yes, yeah, I'm already loving this locomotive. Yeah. Very loud, but it's not as loud as uh, another locomotive. Which, which one is it? Oh, the uh, Patriot class, which is ear deafener, I call it. Anyway, oh, we need to cut out there. Anyway, I think it's time we get this locomotive couple up to a train. So let's find out. Oh, this let's move back in position. Let's find out what lo what coaches, or maybe something to do with parcels. I'm uh, going to be pulling it, maybe being pulled by this today. Let's find out what's at the station today. So here's what the locomotive will be pulling today. The Southern Luggage Coach and the two Mark 1s. And on the outside track will be Tombridge pulling the two mortar coaches. So I think it's time we get the Battle of Resident Class, Spitfire, and a couple of, of two of the coaches in the points there. Alright, rising up. Just a minute. Right, there it comes. Lifting up. Right. I think it's time to get this locomotive off on its journey. Right, signal up. And off we go. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah, right, let's start Tom Ridge up and get up going. That's as if she will go. Oh, what a bug. Oh, wrong direction, wrong direction. Ah, that's not, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, we've had a crash. Oh, dear. let me sort that out a little bit. Right, oh, Tom Ridge is really annoying me at the moment. Oh. Anyway, let's find out what's happened to the Battle of Britain class. Already I'm on this locomotive already. Oh, I mean, it has a little bit of a little slip, but that's because it doesn't have any traction tyres. Oh, I love this locomotive. I have to say, this is probably my top five favourite locomotives. Oh, just absolutely wonderful. Where's Tom Bridge? There she is. Wonderful. I love the other uh, summer money session. Right, let's see a wall slip. She actually got stuck. Hang on. Let me sort her out. Right, it should work now. Let's have a little wall slip. Oh. Not very good. Yeah. Oh, let's keep going around. There we are. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Alright, okay, that's all we've got time for today. Next time, I'll show you some more coaches, plus some British Railways ones.
So I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good day. Oh, the school's has come through. Yeah. Have a wonderful day, guys.